Kim Shadowin, and I am in Lipscomb University's Office of Public Relations and Communications. And today I am here with Prentice Ashford, who is the Dean of Community Life here at Lipscomb University. And there's so much um, going on in, in student life. And um, even today, we've got our freshmen moving into the dorms. It's the first day of, like, I guess a whole week of, of kids moving in. And I know you all have been hard at work all summer trying to keep community with our students while they've been remote but then also planning for what will be a very unique fall semester so wanted to spend a little time with you just talking about some of the plans and things we can be looking forward to in the fall and, and just a little bit about your team and what all's been going on so thanks for spending a few minutes with me today yeah absolutely thanks Kim yeah just today waking up this morning felt significantly different than the other Mondays since March mm -hmm. really um, got up, did my morning jog, and I said, I'm going to run around the entire campus and had on just good music, just trying to send positive vibes because, you know, students are coming to us for a year that's sure to be one none of us are going to forget. Mm -hmm. um, and especially it's starting, I think it's significant that it starts with our residence life and housing team yeah. for those students who are going to be living on campus. And then we'll see that natural handoff to Quest Week and the Quest team then really to faculty, staff, and then my office starting next Monday. Mm -hmm. And so really now until the end of the semester is going to be incredible. Um, I think community life, what we've been preparing for all summer is just how do we continue to further the relationships mm -hmm. and the expectation of forming community and forming those relationships and being engaged on campus um, when things are just going to look a little bit different. Uh, thankfully for us, our name, Community Life, doesn't go away um, due to a pandemic mm -hmm. or due to COVID. Um, we do have ways that we can continue to promote community life, encourage it, uh, provide ways to build that community. And of course, you're just going to look different now. Um, from a, I guess, a programmatic standpoint, it's changing. You know, we do have to comply with our metro regulations. Um, not much flexibility there. But we'll roll with it mm -hmm. you know we have lots lots and lots of virtual options um, a lot of what we did previously is easily convertible to virtual option um, but then we can still have some in-person options mm -hmm. there just with you know um, adhering to guidelines and things like that so the face-to-face -face interaction human interaction the need that we have that's not going to go away we're just modifying that. right yeah. yeah and i know that um We've, I've even seen some tents coming up on campus. Yes. There's a giant, huge tent just right out here yeah, in the, the flat amphitheater yes. and in front of Swang, and there are probably some more around campus. And yeah. what, what's that for? Absolutely. We're trying to encourage people, go outside. Yeah. You know, be outside. Nashville's beautiful. It doesn't get too hot. A little humid. If you can <laughs> stand that, little. just a little humid. <laughs> um, but if you can stand that, go outside. Uh, take your homework outside. Take your food outside. Um, and try to be outside as much as possible and mm -hmm. that's why we brought those tents in there so we can survive the weather and the rain that happens every day here or every week whatever it is um, but just trying to encourage people to be outside as much as you can mm -hmm. socially distance still wearing your face mask when you're around people but just creating more meeting spaces when we all can't be mm -hmm. inside together and you mentioned a minute ago um, you know some of the activities that we have are easily kind of you know flexible or, or we can can offer them in different ways and I know that y'all talked about you know maybe having multiple uh, offerings of certain yeah. programs and so tell me a little bit about just how you all have adjusted yeah. and things that we might be seeing here in the next few weeks and, and months as far as that goes yeah absolutely so we still community life consists of student organizations mm -hmm. office of intercultural development student activities board student government association <laughs> Just a few um, items, a just few a areas. Just a few things, social clubs, student <laughs> You don't have anything to do. <laughs> right, exactly. No, it's just um, all those things. So those require actual meetings. Mm -hmm. um, we have officer and leadership teams that are doing those things. We're encouraging meetings, regular meetings, to be virtual just so we can, those are just obvious ones we can move online. Mm -hmm. But you think of our staples, trivia nights. You think of our... Um, different other different gatherings types of events where it's more you come participate compete um, those will be some limited in-person options we'll cap them at you know 20 to 25 mm -hmm. students um, but say puzzle mania for example right. that's when you get on campus you'll know about puzzle mania 
Uh, but that's one where we can say instead of everybody, we have 75 people at once, we'll just say, you know, from five to six, it'll be the first wave mm -hmm. that comes in. And then from 7.30 to 8.30, we'll give another other group of students the opportunity to participate. So things like that, we'll be able to spread out over the evening or at night or, mm -hmm. or over a few days to right. give more students the opportunity to participate. And I know you've thought about some new events and activities as well. I mean, I've heard things like s'mores in the square yeah. or, or painting mm -hmm. with, with, the bison. with the bison, yeah. you know, things like that. So what kind of creative ideas have you all come up with? Yeah, so one of the recent developments is kind of a, a throwback Thursday or Tuesday, trying to match up the teas. The uh, but no, ideas of, you know, we're going to be here and we're going to want some kind of connection and throwback meaning we're going to try to do a lot of activities that throw back to our childhood mm. you know just fun yeah. just fun little things yeah so we'll be introducing a lot of those types of events where maybe you could come pick up the supplies and then go back to your dorm go back to your um, your house or just find somewhere to do mm -hmm. it and then we'll have it'll be live and you can participate um, we also have um, oh DIYs yes so life hacks that's the word I was trying to think of you get on TikTok, you get on Pinterest, you see all these things of like how to make your life easier in this way. We're gonna try to introduce little things like that. You know, just fun. We're just trying to get creative of right. ways you can be socially distanced, but then still learn something new and something that actually is productive for your mm -hmm. life. So those throwbacks, DIYs, life hacks, different other kind of learn how to paint, learn how to do some new hobby or craft. That's what we're gonna try to introduce. And I know one of the things that, that you've always said as well um, is you know that students are very creative um, and it, it could be that they have ideas for new organization or new activities and I know that's something that you all are very open to as well yeah absolutely I mean we have 30 to 40 student orders right now mm -hmm. that already accept new people new leaders new mm -hmm. participants um, new members but hear me say if anybody has any idea of I like to do this and then I get to campus and it's not in existence we have a system in place community life you can say, hey, this is my idea. I feel like this is something everybody would benefit from, or there's you know, 10 other people on campus who have this special interest that I do. I wanna help establish that as a student org. You can absolutely do it. We have Student Government Association who helps fund these student mm -hmm. orgs for the programs, events, activities that really help expand um, the student experience. Absolutely, student org is the way to go there. I don't know. Um we have things like the missions fair and ministry fair and um, and like social club rush and all of that. And I'm yeah. sure that some of those activities, I'm, I'm sure, you know, some kids might be wondering about those activities and I'm guessing, you know, they will just happen in, in different ways yeah. in the 2020 version. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Those will still happen. Some will be in person, just spread out multiple right. points across campus. So we can keep that traffic flow going. Mm -hmm. Some will be virtual, just out of necessity, but really, want to make sure that we all understand the essence and the purpose of those activities connecting people to people who are like-minded people connecting people who view life differently that's not going away mm -hmm. we're still creating those moments and giving students those opportunities it's just the way that we facilitate those are going to be a little bit different yeah well um i know that over the summer that you've had a few new team members yeah. you know come and join the team but tell us a little bit first about about yourself, and I know you've been at Lipscomb about three years, yeah. we're at ACU prior to that, and just yeah. kind of your background in student life, and then tell me about the new team. Some of them are not necessarily new to Lipscomb, but. Yeah. Um, we're all still very young <laughs> Lipscomb people, like <laughs> we are. Um, no, yeah, so I, this is going on my third mm -hmm. full year um, at Lipscomb. Came from Abilene Christian University, did my undergrad and master's degree there as well, and then worked in the Office of Multicultural Affairs there, mm -hmm. which is their diversity office there. Came here in spring 2018. That's about right. Spring 2018, 2017, somewhere around mm -hmm. there, three years ago. Uh, but came in, in the Office of Intercultural Development here, and then um, last year kind of shifted into the role of Dean of Community Life. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's been all kinds of movement the past three years, but good movement. And through, since I've been here, I've been, been able to add Juan Revelis, who's our coordinator for International Students Services, um, Candace Williams, who's the now director of the Office of Intercultural Development mm -hmm. here, um, Madison Hunter, she is the coordinator for student productions and social clubs, along with Kel Kelvin Kelly, 
who is the director for student productions mm -hmm. and social clubs. And then we have Lexi La Costa Rica, who's our kind of, she keeps everything together for community life, but she's our community life coordinator there. So that's our team of six. Mm -hmm. And we've been working extremely hard um, over the summer. Lexi and Kelvin, brand new, started in June. And wow, so welcome we, to yeah, Lipscomb. <laughs> sight unseen, coming, wow. trusting us. Um, but they've been great, great additions to the team. Madison started a year ago. Candace and Juan started around the time that mm -hmm. I started. So we are all have young energy, new, fresh eyes. I'm really able to um, try to offer just a different experience. Um, good and You've got a great team, a great yeah. team. And you, you mentioned OID, and we're sitting here in the conference room, the OID conference yeah. room, but and, and that's something that you were very, very instrumental in in really shoring up. I mean, we had a multicultural affairs office, but you've really, really kind of changed that approach. So tell us a little bit about just OID and yeah. kind of, you know, the services it provides and, and what its mission is. Yeah, it's love, love, love OID. I mean, a lot of good conversations are had in the chair. Right here, yeah. In. You know, it's it's very special to me. I mean, being at a, being at a place that gives students different racial, ethnic backgrounds, one, a home base, uh, the way we like to think of or conceptualize OID is very much like if you were traveling overseas or traveling to a foreign country and you needed somebody to help you, like a U.S. consulate, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, I know the place, traveling here, but it might be a little bit unfamiliar. I need somebody to help me kind of um, know where to go, how to speak, who to talk to, things like that. We work very much like that, you know. We have, um, we, we're able to bring students in and um, support them, give them their needs, but then also being able to expose other students who have different cultural and ethnic backgrounds, um, able to help you expand your views and help you experience life in a different way. Um, and this isn't always black and white. This is other just race, gender, ethnicity, religion, lots of different conversations that have going on here, lots of programs, events, activities, just designed to Kind of expand your mind and, mm -hmm. and your your worldview to help you grow as a person. And we have a very diverse student body, if I yeah. remember correctly. Um, you know, maybe about thirty three various religious preferences, sure. and maybe off a little bit. And as we have new a new class coming in, and yeah. you know, probably thirty forty you know countries that are represented, and so yeah. it's really a neat it's a, neat a, blend. A, absolutely neat blend. Yeah. And I mean, it's just growing too. Mm -hmm. And um, what I really like is students are coming to us prepared to have these conversations and ready, you mm -hmm. know, we try to encourage students and say, you're who you are, we're not asking you to be anybody else, asking you to have an open mind and and welcome different views. You know, there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of world out there, and a lot of things that could just expand your mind in the way you move in life. Well, and it and helps us prepare them to be global citizens. Absolutely. I mean, when they leave our campus, like you said, I mean, you're going into a world that is very diverse and where these conversations will happen, and yeah. it's just good, you know, good for them to have them here, and. Um, equip them for that, for being the adult, you know, absolutely. out in the world. So, yeah, absolutely. so what else um, may I have missed about just community life and what you want, you know, students and anybody who might watch this to know? Yeah, just be prepared to continue to grow this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it seems like the world has just taken a drastic turn, but we're still preparing to try to provide a student experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hopefully students who are starting now, three to five years from now, we'll graduate from here. Just want students to understand, this is hopefully just one semester. Right. We'll have seven, eight more semesters to build off of this. You know, mm -hmm. so we're coming here. Let's all get in this together. Let's wear our masks. Be flexible. Socially distance. Have a lot of grace. Yeah. A lot of flexibility with the understanding that this isn't going to be our experience for the next right. two, three, four years. Yeah. It's just a moment in time. Let's get through it. Let's get through it together. Let's love on each other. Let's be gracious with each other. And then let's just get prepared for whatever the future holds. Mm -hmm. Bring a hammock and maybe a tailgate chair or something yeah, to sit outside. All of that. Outside, all <laughs> yes, of that. <laughs> bring all of that, absolutely. Well, if somebody wanted to learn more about your office, um, you're located here in the Bennett Campus Center, but I'm, I know you all have a good social media presence and everything, so how would how would I find out more about what you all are doing? Yeah, lipscomb.edu slash community life slash student life slash OID, one of those. It'll take you there. Um, all of our social medias, you can go Lipscomb OID, mm -hmm. Lipscomb Community Life, Social Clubs. Just find, just Google Lipscomb and then whatever you're interested in, you will, you 
will be directed there. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your, uh, spending a few moments with sure. us. I know this is an extremely busy week, but one that we've been all um, working towards and very excited about for um, several months now. So <laughs> Yes. The fact that we're here, I am so thankful and we are ready. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Prentice. Yeah, I appreciate you. it. For sure.